directly into the hospital in Red Deer. And the hospital in Red Deer uh, is, is the regional hospital for the area. So it services close to 400,000 people in the area from all communities outlined around. So uh, any improvement made here is an improvement for healthcare for anyone in Central Alberta. The start is very, very encouraging this year, and I want to thank Central Albertans that have already purchased because uh, the start is very good. The, it continues on. I, I would anticipate that we would sell it. One of the things that the hospital comes to us with priority, so they had uh, approximately 100 beds that, uh, as Rob had alluded to, that they were being serviced out, so they either going to remove them completely or they needed uh, uh, a lot of updating. And so the need for beds is real. And I mean, one of the main things if you're in the hospital and you're like going to bed, and sometimes having a, a bed that, that doesn't is older, can create other problems. I believe they can get like, skin infections and that can lead to other issues besides the one you're actually there for. And these brand new beds kind of eliminate some of that I spoke about the three the three key needs that we have and, and one is is our med, medical surgical beds and those beds uh, that that we purchase for them instead of the older style beds these ones have an ability uh, to uh, to uh, improve the care not only by uh, just the comfort level but it's also a matter of improving the performance and reducing the uh, the risk to our patients and staff for potential falls uh, related to patients that is in terms of getting in and out of beds the edges of the mattresses have a little bit of a firmer um, firmer edge so that it doesn't sink in and patients slide off the bed in many cases our patients will have some mobility issues and that's just it sounds like a small thing but it actually makes a, a, a great deal of difference it's one of those key pieces of equipment that is truly needed on an everyday basis like I say, every patient uh, ends up in a bed for roughly eight hours a day, sometimes more, you know, if you have mobility issues and whatnot, and if you're not feeling 100%, you're probably lying down more than, more than those eight hours that you typically be sleeping. Um, the technologies are the pieces that I think are really um, of benefit here. The, the air surfaces that are provided them as well. It is a technology where it does help. It's a therapeutic surface, so it does reduce those pressure ulcer injuries. In addition then to making it easier to reposition patients in bed that might have a severe limitations in terms of their mobility as well. And uh, by and large, when you need the, need the level of care that the Regional Hospital Centre provides, it's often the, uh, the population that we serve often has significant mobility needs as well. So we do try and make sure that we calibrate where those beds go to and it fits with the height of the